Hey, what's going on guys and welcome. So today I wanted to do a video on the new team of the season, give you guys some information on that. We're going to have a squad. I'm going to show you my squad that I actually use in the uh, tournament and then we're going to finish it off with, obviously with the tournament cut run. So if you went around yesterday, EA for the first time ever have released team of the season cards for the ALJ League, the Saudi Arabian League, which is absolutely awesome. Really like the look of, uh, well, mostly silvers that they've actually uh, sent out, but no, they look really, really nice. Got likes of Elton in there. I know he's five foot five but he's a five star skiller El Shanrani is now the quickest right back on the game with 96 pace his card looks fantastic so pretty much EA the criteria to match to actually allow you to play the tournament is to use six players from the ALJ league right I came up against the first guy in the quarters and he subbed on three players in the defense so he took out the poopy ones and he's brought on three players. So they haven't locked down the bench. So it is a kind of cheeky. So you can just go into a game and then just sub out your goalkeeper and your two centre backs. And it's basically just a gold v gold tournament. So it's depending on if you're going to do it. But I would suggest you do because the defence isn't too great and everyone else is doing it. So just a heads up for you guys. If you do need coins to afford this team that you're going to be seeing, make sure to check out your FIFA for coins. If you need Xbox Live codes, PSN or anything gaming related, check out G. I'll leave a link right at the top of the description and go and use Fuji on both sites for a discount. Go and use it. So let's go through the team. We've got El Anesi in goal. Sorry for my pronunciations. They're going to be awful. We've got Mutha. We have El Nakil. We've got El Musa. And we also have Derm. Now the defense, obviously, these two are very, very bad. The positioning was awful. I mean, they've got pace, but it just doesn't help them. And EA affected the game last night. Just before I went into the tournament, they patched it. And the squad itself was feeling very sort of sluggish. Uh, awful to pass like the touches and that it just didn't feel right so I had to really grind out the results in this but moving over to the right mid position and we've got our first team in the season from the ALJ league which is Marquinho he was okay actually nothing too special like he's he looks average and he played pretty pretty average you know he didn't score a goal we've got uh, Neves as well he was all right he actually played quite well he's got four star skills I don't think he's suited as a centre mid in this formation. And maybe I would have put him as a cam. But his finishing still needs improving, to be honest. But we've got Luis Gustavo there. We have the likes of Marco Royce, Kevin De Bruyne, and the Batman. I've just been loving these two recently. So I thought, why not actually pop them into a side? But guys, if you are enjoying, make sure to drop a like. That would really help me out. And uh, yeah, let's go and see how well I did in the tournament. Let's go. Here we go. So let's start off the tournament. And the first team we come up against is a 4-5-1 side. Now, for me, the 4 5 1 formation and just the look of the team look great, but the formation, like playability wise, it just doesn't cut it for me. That one center mid, I just have to have either a CDM or a couple of center mids that can offer some good defensive support, I guess. Like just having one center mid and like basically five attackers isn't good enough. It's a no go. Like, I don't need five attackers to build up my play. Like, if I'm using center mids, they will naturally push up anyway. So, let me know what you think about the 4 5 1 formation, but for me, I don't like it. And this guy was using it and he eventually got destroyed by a Bamiyang. And I kind of felt bad, you know, because he did stop playing. He put down his controller and a Bamiyang he abused it. A Bamiyang abused him, man. 7 1, it did finish and I was through to the quarters. Uh, but one thing I will say, though, is I, I briefly mentioned about EA releasing a patch and that. I don't know what happened to the game last night. Like, I know full well that a Bamiyang and De Bruyne weren't hitting their full potential. Like, they were being a bit sloppy with their passes. They just weren't feeling as quick to accelerate and that and I really do feel that EA has done something to the game so let me know if you've actually noticed any any changes in that uh, when you were playing these uh, cup runs or tournament games whatever you want to call them so yeah let me know in the comment section but this guy we had we were playing in the quarters was the guy that subbed off the players and I was like hold on a minute I've got some people on the bench let me bring on the likes of <laughs> the likes of Kishelny and Boateng and then Farman in goal so yeah we did beat him 4-2 and then we were against this guy in the semi finals now the scoreline doesn't really reflect how he was playing like he was a good player he was probably the best out of all of them that I did play but when you've got the likes of De Bruyne up top when you've got the likes of Aubameyang it's very very hard to defend and the way I was playing was super sweaty like if when I'm playing these tournament games I don't really play that good football so it's either be sweat well sweat or be sweated and for me I'm going to sweat. That's why I'm using a Bamiyang. And we did, in fact, smash him 4-0. But no, he was a good player. And yeah, he was probably the best uh, of all of them. But now we move into the final game against this team. I was like, hang on a minute. What's, what's, what's going on here? He's got, like, poor chemistry in that. Although he was a very, very good player, 
We only scored the one goal very, very early on before he could sub on the defender. And obviously, we won the cup, which I was happy about. But if you listen closely to what the actual commentators were saying, they were saying that I was, like, going through to the next game and that. So, I think the game, like, glitched and didn't actually put me against someone in the final. I don't know if that's, like, possible. I'm not really too sure. But anyway, we won the game. I wasn't complaining. 7,000 coins and a uh, untradeable pack. Why do they make it untradeable? I hate it. And who do we get? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks, EA. I've just sweated out like four hours of my time trying to win the tournament. Well, it was one of the four hours. It's about two hours, and you give me an untradeable pack that's worth nothing. Thanks, EA. But anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you, you watching. If you do drop a like, that would be absolutely awesome. And uh, let me know what you think of my team, and let me know if you're going to uh, tackle the uh, tournament. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.